goodness. Hey, everybody. Uh, I think I, it's what, March 27th. And officially Gaston County, where I live, is on lockdown from the coronavirus. So, I know I think I've already done one spring tour, but I don't know if I... I showed you my pansies, and then now the squirrels eat on them. But uh, they're still doing okay. Usually in uh, April, I plant impatience on this wall. And so the pansies, they started perking up after it got a little warmer, which was weird. They didn't do good in the cold, but have pansies here and I deadhead them in my Johnny jump ups and so I keep them deadheaded so they'll keep blooming so if um, I've not been doing that probably not and I usually I mean you don't have to but I compost in place I just break it off and put it back in a pot now, if you don't want the mess you know then don't do it so when they get the looking like that blooms already spent and sometimes the squirrels eat on them here so, you know, pop them off, and then that feeds the plant. Then you got more pansies and Johnny Jump Ups. They've done really well. I'm pleased, but it's getting hot. Got my little flamingo. Uh, so they're going to start looking bad. So take you over here for a second. Hold on. A lot of cleanup. Still working on stuff. This is kind of my mother-in-law's bed. Had some tulips that are already kind of spent few little flowers there uh hyacinths that fell and another tulip come over here and i had hyacinths in here and they were really pretty my johnny jump ups were still doing good and i do the same thing you know i did head them i did it the other day but there's always some that i miss and i have some snapdragons that i planted a couple years ago that are trying to bud back out and I found a new flower and I'm going to see how it does and this is what is it? It's a daisy or something. It's an English daisy and it's a perennial. I love perennials so you don't have to buy them one time unless the squirrels dig them up and stuff. And I said they reseeded themselves so we'll see. I bought this one about three different colors like a red one, pink one, and a white one. So we'll see if they spread. And then I got me a couple of snapdragons over here and over there. I got, let's see, I got a lily that's coming up that I planted last year. I still got to work on this bed. Lots of work. Here's my little ladybug that I bought and that Hobby Lobby, like 40% off, which was awesome. So let's see, I think I already showed you maybe some of this. I've, let's see. I planted some dill and oh my god something has stripped all the leaves off my word I not noticed that I got one it's probably the cow pillars I guess they made all my dill so I have some dill at mama's I planted rosemary bush this catnip I've had for a while and there's a neighborhood cat that comes and tears it up so it won't look this pretty for a while my sage, this has been in a pot for several years, so I need to repot that. And somehow, the catnip got over here in this pot with my St. John's wort, so I need to dig that up and move that around. But see, now this is my deal. I planted two, and something stripped the other one. That's a pineapple sage. And so I think I've already showed you these herbs. A lot of stuff is starting to bud out. You have to be careful. Like, I'm no expert about lavender, and I was gonna cut this because I thought it was dead but then see I don't know if you can tell let me pan out see, there's a little green there so uh, this did really good here in the partial shade so some of it's still coming out so I'm not gonna cut it yet and my sage here is kind of scraggly but it's still growing I, I, I like top it off and and get some sage that way my lemon balm which smells wonderful got more sage i have lots of herb i got the dogwood that's coming out i got a potato that's growing there which probably won't get a lot see i just cut my mint i got lots of spearmint i'm gonna drink me some spearmint tea for my immune system got some say chocolate mint my saint williams which are doing good and they've been here for a couple years and I love pots, I guess you can tell that, but 
I started to run out of room, so I started kind of layering them. And you kind of have to do this when you set the pot up. Uh, I don't know if you could do it if something's already in there, because then you don't have the space. And I didn't have anything to put in a, this area, so I only had a two layer. But it's worked out pretty good. So I did that this fall with my parsley and oregano, and my oregano just took off like crazy. I don't use a lot of it, but it was nice and pretty this fall. I got my mints not coming up yet. So, hold on just for a minute. Let's see. We're going to go over here. I'm gonna just, I think I already maybe showed you the jasmine. But it's so pretty. Let's see if I can get you some. Since everybody's staying home now, so this is virtual. Well, I don't know how everybody is coping. So, we got jasmine. Beautiful jasmine that smells so good. Let's see. See? Pretty little flowers. And then I'm going to put some potatoes here. I think I've already done a video of potatoes. I got a bag of red potatoes there. And see, so come over here. This will be real pretty you know, this summer. That's still, still early. And my Sweet Williams are popping up over here. I moved them a couple years ago. So they're doing good. They do good in partial shade. And let's see, there's a few other things. Oh, let's see. We'll walk through here. I'm all, I've been doing some cleanup. I got the potatoes coming up there. Kind of trim back my asparagus fern. I got my palm that has survived, I believe, the winter. So I'm hoping. So hold on for a second. And then I think I took some pictures of this, but I wanted to show you my flocks. Love it. Got some lemon thyme here. And then my beautiful flocks. Some more thyme. I mean, it's just so pretty in the spring. And I tried, I think I've said this before, but anyway, you can really tell where the sun comes. So everything grows great on this side. And then I have some uh, sweet wind plants that are coming. Not sweet wind, I got sweet wind on my mind. I, it's, they're in the Wandering Jew family. Uh, so I planted them this year, and last year, and they just did great. And they, they went everywhere. So this fox is coming back. And this one, too, they're not as big and grand. And I planted, I think, all this at the same time. The other one is, like, really big. But this one kind of got dried out. And then this one I moved because it wasn't doing Because I wanted the flocks to be, you know, flowing on different sides of my little planter. So I got got to work on these, got to paint these up. So I got my bird feeder that I love. I got a nesting box there that no one's moved in. I just, uh, husband took a picture. I got a chickadee that's moved in this one. So that's my first residence. And then I think that's about it. And I don't want to bore you too much so just hope everybody can cope well stay safe and talk to you later don't forget to like share and subscribe